Hi everyone, it's me, Darlene. It is a Saturday afternoon. Is it early evening? Let me look at the time. Will I ever know where the time is? It's 5.30 p.m. If it was 5.30 a.m., you'd have to worry about me because that would mean something was very wrong for me to be up that early. Unless I'm going to an airport. I have actually taken very early morning flights just because it was the best flight available. And uh, I've got some of those tag along with me to the airport videos up. Boy, I didn't like getting up early. But anyway, I'm in my driveway and I'm going to the cemetery. I am going to a different cemetery. The last cemetery I took you to was St. Ignatius. That's a Catholic cemetery. And although there are some old stones there, and we really didn't look at them last time. Last time we just kind of did the wall where babies were. This time I'm going to Oakdale Cemetery, which is the Protestant cemetery, which has a very old section. So we're going to go see if we can find any stones that date back you know, with people born in the late 1700s. I think there might be some. But I thought I would talk to you here first because I'm going to be freaked out all alone in the cemetery when it's like this time of day. So I didn't want to just, you know, park there and chat with you there. And when I get there, I want to get in. I want to get out. <laughs> The old section is to the front. I don't want to go deep into the cemetery. It, and it's just weird that I'm afraid like this. It's not that I'm afraid. It's just it's just creepy. A little bit creepy. But what I don't get is I used to go play at that cemetery when I was a kid. In those days, we could take off. I mean, I used to ride my bike. I must have been between the ages of 7 and 10 when I went there. Because I remember the friend that I had in, in that time period. And sometimes we would go together. But sometimes I would go along. Alone, and I would just ride my bike there and I would hang out in that cemetery There's like a, a little river that runs through it and I used to go fishing all by myself in the cemetery That's weird, you know, I would just go out be home for lunch go back out be home for dinner Go back out be home when the street lights went on. That was my life as a kid <laughs> So let's go to the cemetery and see what we can dig up <laughs> And, um, I'll chat with you there. Let's go! Before I pull in, I just want to show you part of what it's like from the road. See this, the front part of the cemetery is very hilly, and that's the old section. And there used to be a road right there to get in, but they've done away with that one and they made a new one. I'm sure I'm not supposed to be driving on the side of the road like this. Especially when there's a car coming behind me. I'm gonna stop and let that car go by. Move, little squirrel. Two squirrels. So, this is the entrance I'll be taking. And I'm just going to go in, and I'm going to walk around this whole section a little bit. Let's just do a little riding tour together. We're in the cemetery now. We're on this side here. We can probably check a couple of stones. See if I can. I'm good at zooming when I don't want to, but I just—it's funny. Well, it's not funny, but it's odd for me to to see stones on a hill like that. I wonder why they would have done that. Soldier. These still are not the the older ones. I love, look at the roads. It's just little winding roads on hills. I just think it's so cool. Yay, we're going up. Like in a roller coaster. And then while we're up here, so you can see the rest of the cemetery down there. 
And there's the water where I used to go fishing. It's just a very, very peaceful place and I am not afraid. I'm not afraid! See, that's where we just were down there. And now we're coming up to a little landing. It's a circle. All right. I guess I think we'll walk, we'll park and walk over there, because I think that that's an old section. Oh, we can, oh, I'll feel safe here. We'll be right by the road. See, this is where, this is where the road used to go out, but they did away with it. All right, let's stop. It's me in the graveyard. So see, here we have um, someone young. daughter of, born 1895 and died 1896. Not quite a year old. Another daughter, born 1898 and only lived a couple months till November of 1898. And it's the same people, daughter of Elsie and Hattie daughter of Elsie and Hattie. So, see, people didn't uh, have it easy when having kids back then. Oh, look at these stones. They're laying down flat. So excited. This is creepy. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I heard a noise. <laughs> Starting to get a little bit scared. Can we read anything here? Died October 20 something. Like October 20 something. I almost can see it better in the camera, but I can't make out the year. 18 something, I think? I don't know. If I were to see somebody walking, I would run so fast to my car. Okay, died 1833. even has stuff growing on his stone. Now this is one on the ground, but it looks better. Elizabeth, only child of Samuel and Cynthia Sawyer, died September 14, 1839. Oh, two years, 10 months. Beneath this stone there lies a what? A concealed, a concealed? I'm not doing them justice with my commentary. The dearest hopes a mother knew. It was only a child. She looked upon a world of beauty. She wept and then withdrew. Oh my God, that is sad. Oh man, that's kind of primitive. Just a stone and another one there. Look at those guys, all crooked like, like somebody's trying to get out. Oh, this person lived a long time for back then. Died in 1835, but was 89 years old. Oh my God, there's somebody else here. I'm not so alone. One died 25 years. What? Look at the date. Look. Died 1793. April 27, 1793. Wow. And I think it's one of the 
Am I allowed to step on somebody's stone? Um, the willow and urn. I think I had said the urn and weeds or something, but I can tell that's a willow and urn. Um, it's hard to see on the camera, but I know my tombstones. Like, not at all. Okay. Another creepy one. This is... Uh, somebody died 1825. I'm sorry if I'm, like, moving the camera in weird ways. It's because I'm trying to read the actual stone and then I forget where I'm supposed to hold the camera. 89 died. You know, it's funny, they used to put, like, age 89, 6 months, 18 days. Died 1872. You ever go down to uh, Portsmouth? You just scared the daylight out of me! Portsmouth. <laughs> The oldest graveyards, like all the, every summer you'll see uh, UNH students. Uh huh. They take the rice paper. Right, to do the. Throw it up against the. Uh, and do the drawings, yes, yeah. rub the, the rubbings. They got some old, old stones. No, I haven't been there. Yeah, Portsmouth. Do you know the name of that particular cemetery or? Close to the railroad tracks. Like I know where railroad tracks are. If I was coming from here, going into Portsmouth, uh -huh. I would get off at the, uh, the middle bridge. Okay. All right. Go over the middle bridge, and I get off on the first exit. All right. There's a gas station right on the corner. After you come across the bridge, you'll see the submarine. Uh huh. And then there's a gas station. You go under an overpass. You, you go under it. And there's a street that comes up and around. I can, I'm sure I can find it if I look up it up. Around on that, take a right, bang, you come right to it. All right, I'll look it up online. I'm sure I'll be able to find it. Well, thank you. Yeah, there's a few old ones. I just found one that somebody died. There's another one up. I can't talk. You won't let me. Uh, you familiar with the back road to uh, Mousum? The back road to Mousum. Not really. You know how to get from here to Springdale? Yes. You know where Oak Street is? Yes. All the way to the top, where the blinker light is? Uh huh. Take a right. Okay. Oh, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The back, yeah, it takes us down to the back roads of Balsam, exactly. Yeah, and there's a place up there called what, what I would call uh, White's Farm. Okay. Just before that on the left. Thank you. Put a lot of my relatives in there. Civil War, that sort of thing. Oh, place. my goodness. I like Civil War stuff, so. All right, thank you. I made a friend. He scared the shit out of me. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to go try to find a cemetery in Portsmouth. Over the bridge, there's a submarine and a gas station. You know, only in Portsmouth will you see a submarine and a gas station in, on the same corner. <laughs> this person died 1831 at 27 years old. And there's another willow and urn, which I'm sure you probably can't see. I don't know what that is. I'd like to go see some of the crooked ones, like, over there, but... That would require climbing a hill. And I don't think I'm hill-ready. <laughs> well, I could go down this hill, but then I'd have to get back up. I must think in advance. Go down a hill, coming back up is necessary. Jeez, I even just like the roots of this tree. It's a big pine tree. Can you see the pine cones? Let me... Ah, uh, this is probably a good view right here. Maybe, maybe, maybe not. Pine cones, where are you? <gasps> pine cones! And that old tree has all these roots. Why do I like stuff like that? This is Ichabod Butler. Ichabod. Ichabod Butler. Can you imagine getting teased with that name? 18, eight, no, 1793 to 1833. So that was... uh. 33 and 7, so he was 40. And this probably is his wife. 
don't know. It does not say. She died in 1825. So what, 32 years old? And this is Edward. 1825 to 1826. Oh! See, that must be their child. He only lived a year, but he was born 1825 and she died 1825. So she could have very well died in childbirth, don't you think? And then I don't know who this one is. Different last name. Moses Morrill. 1788 to 1820. Oh my God, I'm, I'm getting so dizzy. I'm on a hill and this ground is very soft. So it's uh, weird walking in it. Well, I'm not gonna be able to do too much more because my back is killing me, but I'm glad I got out for a little while. Next time I'm seeing, I don't know if you can see, let me see here. Focus, please. See way, oh, it's uh, way back there in the woods. I can't hold it steady, I'm sorry. There's some stones back there. And I'm guessing those are probably very old, or they're probably even unmarked graves. Oh, you can see them there between those trees. So I'm sure that that was the section again, like where people couldn't afford to pay for a grave, so. Okay, what do we have here? Not too old. These people must have been important because they have a big stone for the Scott family. Walter Scott, Wallace Scott, Flora Jenkins. And we have father, and mother, and Walter, and George, and Hazel. Hi folks. I just want to show you what is like right outside my car door. A fresh and clean fabric softener sheet. So obviously that sucker was stuck inside my clothes that I just washed. <laughs> Next time I'm gonna go down in that area over there. See what we can see for dates. Why am I whispering? It's not like everybody's gonna wake up. <laughs> oh, that man scared me so much. Where is he? He went down there. There's no way to get out down there. What did he do? Maybe he lives here. Lots of big stones. Okay. Oh, some cool ones over there too. Oh, look at this one with Emery. All the stones are falling down. Uh, Emery, I'm so jumpy. I just accidentally hit the windshield wipers. All right, I'm just going to say bye to you here. It's very peaceful. But I still can't believe I used to come and play here as a kid, alone. I used to collect frogs. Oh my goodness. I have no clue what I, I got for footage. I know there were times that I was talking to you, and I discovered the camera wasn't on. It's just a lot for me to try to read something and show it to you, and remember that I'm reading it, and remember that I'm showing it to you. In other words, like I said before, I'm just not good at this. But I hope uh, that you enjoyed it because I'm telling you, it felt good for me to get out of the house and to come and walk around. I kind of felt like doing this today, but it was so sunny. It's like, why didn't I just stop to think, the sun's going to go down and I can go out in the world of vampires that don't want sunlight. So that is it for now. I will go home and upload this and um, whatever. I hope that you liked seeing some of these old stones. And I will be doing this again, and I will be back with more soon. So thank you so much for watching.
I gotta go find that man. See if he wants a date. <laughs> I so don't want to do that. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye! Just want to show you this. I don't know what they use it for. Maybe to park the lawnmowers and stuff, but... Once upon a time, I don't know, could have been a little chapel. There is a cross up there. I'll have to look up the history. There's some cool graves over there, too, over those hills. Officer of the law stopped someone over there. So. Isn't it ironic that someone stopped to talk to me in a cemetery? I couldn't even be alone here. <laughs> and seriously, it's like, after I'm done, I don't even know what I said, what I did, how I stood. Because it's like I just, I get so filled with anxiety when I'm talking to someone. It's like I'm in another world. But anyway, I know I tried to get him on camera, so I hope I did. I was trying so hard to hold the camera toward him, not knowing if I could see him or not. But anyway, okay, for sure going home now.